What's wrong? It's... it's bigger on the inside. Hello fellow CNC nuts and welcome. Today I'm going to install the shelves into this cabinet and to do that I need to drill a series of holes down the sides here to take these shelf pins. They are a little plastic shelf pin with a metal pin embedded into it. They simply go into the holes and the shelves will rest on them. So the first thing I need to do is remove these doors. These doors are very easy to remove as they simply unclip. So with the jig clamped in place here, I've got a five millimeter drill put into my cordless drill, and that's the correct size for these pins. I've marked how deep I want to drill, and so it's just a matter of drilling each hole like so. I can now remove the jig and there is my hole. I then flip the board around and insert a drill into the first hole. I then drill the rest. I can now repeat the process for the other side. So for the bottom it's the same process, I'm using the same jig, I've just flipped it upside down, I've just sat it on a board here to space it up a little bit, and I'm just going to go through and drill these holes. Now it's just a matter of moving it around to the other side, drilling a new hole, putting in the pin, and drill the rest. All I have to do is do it for the other side now, and I'm finished. I don't know about you, but to me that's looking pretty sharp. Now, it's a good opportunity while I've got the doors off, I'm going to take these shelves out again. I've got one more thing I need to do. Now, the last thing I need to do to this cabinet concerns the bottom. One of the things I found out about furniture of this sort of construction, be it a shelf unit like this here or other furniture, is it first thing it does is it sinks into the carpet pile and then becomes impossible to move. Now, there's a simple trick I use. I get some 3mm MDF and I simply screw it to the bottom. It's not there to support the base because the base will still be supported on these edges here. But it will stop it sinking into the carpet and it'll be easy enough to move across the floor if you need to. And there we have it, the completed cupboard. It wasn't that difficult to do after all. Still got to paint it, of course, which means I've got to go around, give it a good sand, fill up these edges that will be visible with some filler to get a, a good finish on it. But other than that, it's pretty much done. Well, that about wraps up this particular episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Join me tomorrow for another project. Cheers. Right. What do you think of the penthouse suite? Nice. Good night. Don't close the door, I'm afraid of the dark. Come back.